Hello everyone, this is Ivy. Welcome to watch ZW3D Cam Tony video series. In this video, we will bring you to get started with Cam module. The outline includes five parts: Cam interface, base configuration, and the model display control, Cam manager. And in the final and also the most important is the workflow introduction. As you can see, CAM interface includes Ribbon CAM Manager and Workspace Document Aware Toolbar, File Browser, and at the bottom, Tooltip and Output Box. So there are four managers, CAM Manager, View Manager, Visual Manager, and Row Manager. These three are the same as them in the CAM mod environment. And the CAM manager is the most useful manager in the CAM environment. As to the configuration, you can find most of them in the configuration window. So, such as switch language, set background color, set CAM settings, and uh, unit settings. Here you can find that by the document at which to bar, we can control the model display such as the uh, cam sketch control and also set different filters as you can see from here we can select the different objects by the filters and also we can set different uh, display mode and also we can switch different view such as from view top view isometric view and head manager is the main manager of all managers so uh, as you can see from here, the default CAM manager includes a lot of elements such as setup one and geometry, frames, tools, tactics, operations, machine, and output. So now let's just go to ZDBS to check the details. Okay, let's see the CAM interface first. So the first is about ribbon, so we can find that the ribbon tab are arranged in some uh, order from left to right there's three two axes three axes five axes in turning so you can just follow this order to find the features you want and the next one is about the cam manager so you can find there are four managers here and uh, the main window is the uh, workspace, and at the top it is document aware toolbar, and on the right is the file browser, and at the bottom there's a tip here, and output box here, so you can find some messages in the output window. Okay, next I would like to show you about the configuration. Most of them can be found in the configuration window. So such as general, so we can switch the UI language here. And also we can set the background color. Like we can change the environment to the cam and change the color here. Okay. And also in the cam tab, so we can do a lot of the cam settings such as cam to library and also the output folder and uh, also we can uh, find the unit setting from the preference from editor menu so we can set here and the next let's check the document aware to bar uh, by the document aware to bar we can control the model display such as the first one is about the uh, uh, sketch control. So we can unblank all the sketch and also we can blank sketch some sketch. And the next one is about the filter. So you can find there are a lot of uh, different kind of objects. For example, if we want to select face, so we could 
just uh, set the field as face and then stack this one. And also the next one is about the display mode. So we can switch different kind of uh, display mode. And the next one is about the different view. For example, if we want to check the top view, we can just check from here. And we can switch back to the isometric view. Then let's check the managers. So we can find the cam manager and the view manager, visual manager, role manager. So these three managers are the same as in the CAD environment. For the CAM manager, as you can see from here, there's a setup. So we can just right click to check the settings. We can show uh, more elements in the CAM manager, such as the two uh, minimum two length and the uh, machining time. Okay. And uh, as you can see from here in the geometry, we can add parts, stock, and also table clamp, and so on. And we can set the clearance here. And we can insert new frame or manager frames here, hide or unhide. And tools, we can insert tool. And also we can manage tools here. And tactic, we can insert whole tactic and mail tactic and so on. We can insert operation and manage operations here. Like we can insert folders to manage the roughing, rest roughing, semi finish and so on. And then, then is about the machine. So we can define the post processor here. Like there are a lot of uh, Processor like Fanank and like Simmons, Hedahan, and so on, and divide the definition file. And in the final, we can output the NC code and output the operation list. That's the general introduction about the CAM module. So next, I would like to introduce you about CAM workflow. Okay, the workflow for the CAM includes four steps. First, we need to prepare the model, and then we create the two paths. In the third step, we will simulate whether the two paths is reasonable or not. So if not, we need to go back to the previous step to modify the parameters. And if yes, then we will define the machine and output the NC code. For the models, we can import the third-party file format like IGS steps file. And also we can create the models in ZW3D CAD module directly. And there are two ways to switch to the CAM environment. And we can insert external model to geometry in CAM module. The model files can be 3D or 2D files. And the next step, we need to orientate the models. So we can do the orientation both in CAD module or CAM environment. And then we need to analyze the models. We need to measure the model size or the radius of the fillets to choose the proper tool. And then we can add stock. And if necessary, we can add the work table and fixture also. And then the second step is to create the two paths. So the workflow is very clear. We first, we need to select a proper operation. Then we specify the feature. And in the third, we will select a proper tool. After that, we set the parameters for the operation. And in the final, we will calculate the two paths. So first, uh, we will select a proper operation according to the feature of the model. So there are two ways to insert an operation from ribbon or from the right-click menu of the operation. 
and uh, we will specify the CAM feature. Generally, we will use the profile feature in two access machining, and we will keep the default parameters in general situation. And there are three ways to specify a tool. There are a primary parameters, like the limiting to set the area where we need to machine, and also the seek to set the uh, remain materials we need to leave for the rough or for the semi-finished operations. And we will set the step over, step down, plunge type, plunge angle. And in the final, we will calculate. We can do that from the parameter setting dialog directly. We can also do from the right-click menu of the operation. In the third step, we will do the verification. So we can use the verify to check the detailed information of the two parts. We can also use the solid verify to simulate the actual machining process. And in the final part, we will specify the post the processor and definition file. Then we can output the NC code and also the operation list. Now let's just go to ZDIP3 to check the details. Okay, let's check this uh, case. So first we need to prepare the model. We can create the model in ZW3D directly. We can also import the uh, models from third party file format such as mm -hmm. the edges, the steps, and so on. Okay, so next we will we need to switch to the campaign so we can find document and where to bar the campaign. We can also find from the right click menu so we can choose the template. After that, we need to do the orientation. We can do that in both CAD module and the CAM environment. So we can just go back to the CAD module. Here we can use the move. Okay, select this shape and point. So we have finished the orientation. Let's go back to the campaign. Actually, we can also do the orientation in CAM module. So we can just insert the frame. And we can create data, and we can just specify the geometry, the plane we need to locate the frame, and define the original point. So, for example, the two lines, these two lines, so we can get the frame as here. Okay. And the next step, we need to analyze the a model. So we can just go to the inquiry and we can use the service curvature to check the fillet size. For example, here, for example, here, this the diameter is big enough, so we can choose a big two. And also, we can use the coordinate to check the z value for these two planes. So they are the same, so we can use the one operation to do the machining. Okay, the next step, we will add the stock. So we can, we can add, make some adjustment, leave some gap here, left, right, height. And the next step, we, we will uh, create the two paths, right? So we need to select a proper operation like spiral here. And we can follow this to create a feature. And for the two axes, we use the profile a lot. Okay. And quick change pick for this one. And we can add one more profile like this one. And okay. 
And here, uh, we need to define a new tool, or we can load the tool from the tool library. So like here, a flat tool. And define the other parameters like the tool ID and OK and calculate. And then we will go to the operation to do the parameters. Actually, for the tools, we can also insert from here and we can load the tool shape from the tool library. So, like the million, so we will choose the flat 10 millimeters and OK. And uh, for the parameters, let's check. First, uh, we will define the area limiting the bottom. For example, we can define this bottom point. And uh, next, tolerance steps, so we can define here. And we can leave this by default. And path setting, we can set now. And link and lead by prompt type, prompt height, and angle. We can just leave it by default. So let's just check the two paths. It's okay. And then maybe we need to go to the third step to verify. So we can verify the details one by one. And also we can put the a tool on a space point to check. So like this one, we can just go to check the top view. There's a gap here, right? Okay, and we can go back to check the solid verify. So we can check the result, simulate the machining process, and we may find that the result is not what we want. There, there is still some remaining material here. So we can go back to modification the parameters, such as here, calculate, and uh, solidify verify again. Now it's OK. After that, we need to define the post processor. Like here, we can find the finite basic and also definition file. And OK. And we can output the NC. So we need to insert NC folder and then we can add the operation and output the NC code. OK. We can check the NC code. And we can also uh, output the operation list. So we need to set, we can choose a different kind of template, the HTML or the Excel file format. OK, then we can just output the operation list. OK, let's just, just go back to the slide. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.